Happy birthday, gorgeous. <laughs> Do you know, for a woman of 50, you are looking mighty fine. Yeah, being with you must keep me up. Mm. I got you this. It's not much, so I hope you like it. Original. Mm. I hope the clasp's stronger on this one. Try not to leave it anywhere incriminating. <laughs> you know, like maybe the back of Dan's van. It's beautiful. Thank you. I have managed to wangle the afternoon off work, so I booked us a table at that fancy hotel you like near Harrogate. The Moorings? Oh, we used to go there years ago. And if you play your cards right, I might even book us a room. <laughs> Things going without you. Well, we keep trying. What happened overnight, though? Jay's on his way to see about a school place. Yeah, my dad's idea. He won't start just yet. He thought that him being around kids of his own age might bring him out of his shell. There you are, sneaking off without me. Mm -hmm. Want to buy your birthday breakfast? Mm -hmm. What? Birthday? Yeah. The big 5 0. Well, you kept that quiet. Obviously. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thanks. <laughs> Have you got anything planned? Nothing. Being treated to breakfast is enough. But Dawn, um, should we organise a get-together at the village hall? I'll call Chaz, get a cake and some decorations, and shall I meet you there later? Yeah. Shall I tell Harriet? No, let's surprise her. She'll love it. OK. It's posh, this place. I hope you've scrubbed up. See for yourself. Can't let my girlfriend down on her birthday. Yeah, especially when she's cozying up to you. Well, in public. Now, that is a turn-up. Oh, Harriet, um, can I just borrow you for a sec? Uh, you've had a, a load of fresh produce delivered for the Harvest Festival. Can't Marlon deal with it? Well, clearly not. The fridges are full. He's getting in a right flap about it, so... OK, well, I'll have to be quick. <laughs> yeah. Off to you! Morning. You said you had no plans, so me and Dawn, well, we couldn't let it go unnoticed. Rope Billy into. Yeah, I nearly passed out the amount of balloons this one had me blowing up. <laughs> Wuss. <laughs> hey, and uh, Marlon has iced the cake, no? Well, well it's wonderful. I'm really Chaz and Paddy. Oh, that's very kind. <laughs> well, they'd be here, only he's at work and she's back at Butler's with swollen ankle. That's old age for you. It's not old age, you fool. It's being pregnant. She will chase you down for comments like that, ankles or not. She'll have a job chasing me without her. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does it feel being 50? Well, now it's here, I might as well resign myself to it. What happens to growing old disgracefully? <laughs> See what she's like with a few drinks, darling. <laughs> then I better show them out then. <laughs> Thought you were off on your jollies today. Yeah, I was taking Harriet to lunch. This lot hijacked her instead. Jeez. Oh, it's not right what to celebrate now. This is as much a shock to me as it is to you. It's lovely, though, I'm touched. At least one of us is popular. Don't just sit there, go and talk to me. Can't get too close in public. Harry wouldn't like it. <sighs> I don't know what's been going on with you two that's so complicated. Was it really worth all the sneaking around? Do something about it. It's not making either of you happy. How did you go at school? I explained the situation and he met his new teacher. Did he talk to her? What do you think? He's still in shock, the poor lad. Mm. But she's right. Maybe he'll start talking when it all sinks in. <clears throat> all right, mate, how's it going? Are you, um, making any headway? Why does everyone keep asking that? Because they care. Yeah, well, it's not helping. Yeah, well. If you need anything, you know where I am. And Amelia. Thanks, Dan. We appreciate it. Uh, excuse me a sec. Will! Why are you leaving? Because I'm sick of sitting in there pretending that I barely know the woman that I love. I mean, what is it that I mean to you? You say that you love me, yet I feel bottom of the pile. That's not true. Really? 